Okay, well listen, thanks very much everybody for, um, for coming along um, to the launch of our legacy consultation document, our response to the legacy consultation. It's been a long time in getting us to um, this point today, but I think it's significant enough of um, a document and response that we wanted to launch it formally. Over um, many years um, I have met and I've listened to the countless stories of pain, of injury that have been um, felt right across the broad political spectrum. For the families who were waiting for 45 years to ac get access to a legacy inquest into their loved one's death, I have heard their frustrations time and time again. And for many of those people, time is not on their side. And mummies and daddies and brothers and sisters have since left this world not having access to those inquests. For all those seriously, physically and psychologically injured, I have heard once again and listened to their immediate needs. I have engaged with families who are frustrated by the protracted delays where the state has held back reports, information and documentation. And we have seen, as you would have all seen um, in recent months, many thousands of people taken to the streets back in February in terms of demanding the right to truth. I want families to know that we in Sinn Féin have listened to your stories of injury and of loss, your need for acknowledgement and indeed your hopes for a better future. Your views have informed our approach to this consultation. Implementing and participating in the legacy mechanisms will undoubtedly be an immense, uh, immensely difficult and painful process for many families, families as they seek answers into the death of their loved ones, for those that have been injured and indeed for society more generally. Notwithstanding the risks, the Stormont House Agreement legacy architecture has the potential to comprehensively engage with the past and facilitate a wider conversation about the future and building a society defined by the protection of the rights of all people. Full implementation of the legacy mechanisms agreed back in Stormont House is a key to realising that potential. They must be implemented and they must be operated on the basis of equality, of dignity and of respect for all. That will create the very real potential to write the words of a new chapter of the peace process, and such an opportunity must not be squandered by anyone. This will require all sides to acknowledge, to uphold and protect the rights of all victims. It will require a collective focus on healing all of the wounds of the past. It will require affirmation, sensitivity and generosity. It will require thinking and actions that are not defined by sectarian and sectional, party political or self-interest. It will require political leadership. So now is the time to engage with the past, but it's also a time to build for the future. Sinn Féin, Gwananis Carta Agus Eintas Naharan, Equality, Rights and Irish Unity.